This is Hadith al-Bukhari, the book of al-Hudud, the chapter uh, the Imam is asking the one who confirm or he accept uh, to to uh, 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 his sin. <clears throat> the Hadith number is six three two four, six three two four. A man he came to the Prophet, and he said to him, uh, uh, Muhammad. He said to the man, he's questioning him. Supposedly this man he said to Muhammad that he commit sin. So the Prophet he is saying to him, maybe you did uh, touch her, uh, maybe you did punish her in, in some way or like in her body. Is that the sin you did? Uh, maybe you looked at her? The man he said, no Prophet. Then the Prophet he said, Aniktuha? Look at this word, Aniktuha. قال أنكتها which means the prophet he said to this man did you fuck did you fucked her did you fucked her guys this is a, a language not even street people do use and we are talking about a prophet of God he is not saying to him did you make adultery like did you do zina zina it would be a nicer to say you know he is saying did you fucked her and this is a messenger of God speaking to Muslims and he is saying did you fucked her and now again this is the hadith for people who want to read you know this is al-Bukhari this is the book of al-Hudud this is for, in, in what the Imam he say about maybe you touched or maybe you, you know you moved your eyes for for her like you know if you are trying to spoil a woman or trying to get in touch on her hadith number six Three, two, four, six, three, two, four. So this is Sahih al-Bukhari, the book of al-Hudud. Maybe a Muslim can tell me why the Prophet saying, "Did you fucked her?" And is that an approved language from prophets? Maybe.